doing? Uh, so I know I'm on the bill as uh, for, for stand up comedy, but I have no idea what I'm going to do right now. I thought I'd incorporate both so you could at least think I'm good at one thing. Uh, We'll start off with a song and then we'll see how it goes. It's, uh, the song's called Big City Blanket. It's um, basically about growing up and having to deal with all the stuff that your parents try out on you when you're the first kid, you know? Just try it out, we'll see how it goes. While he's falling, uh, it's fine, he'll get up, he'll learn. Or they'll learn and then they'll eventually uh, use that as an example to not do it in the second child. So.
So uh, my name is Shadi Ahmed. Shadi like the rapper, Ahmed like the terrorist. Um, true story about how I got my name. My mother was pregnant, had not given birth to me yet. Father walks up uh, to a friend of his in the street and his friend asks, Ella Hor, Ella Alifa Tolissa. And he says, uh, oh. <laughs> So he asks, Hey, get the Chedi. I wonder if that's how we got our car. Get the car from the door of the Toyota. Then he goes to the dealership, like, I'm going to fashion back there. I just honestly believe that uh, if my father had run into that friend of his like, uh, three years later with me in his hand, big moment, I'm going to be an honest man, and his friend says, Hey, it's like I'm with Amelie, what is that in the It's not a coma, but I can't. Um, I, want to, I want to talk about uh, a couple of things as a, as a singer, as a performer, that uh, I just want to bring to light these things that uh, you know, we as songwriters, we're people, we have feelings too. It's not nice if you come up to us and shout stuff. You know? I get it if it's requests, but sometimes it's just random stuff. One time I got, I got done finishing, uh, got done with a gig, and then this girl came up and Can I sing all this? <laughs> So, uh, I don't know if you tell her, it's like, can you see if I'm not so uh, Could have been offensive, but she took it, though. She was, uh, she was actually uh, pretty amused that I'd speak, too. It's not just singing, so. Uh, other things I love is when you're playing, uh, when you're playing like a bar and it's smoky, especially the jazz club, if, every, if anybody's been to the jazz club, there's this unspoken rule at the jazz club, I don't know if anybody of you know this, but there's this unspoken rule when it's all crowded and it's all like that, and you're trying to get to the bathroom and it takes you a couple of days, grab your stuff, say goodbye to your friends, and by the time you get there, you've groped and have been groped by a couple of people, and they always give you that one looks like, that look means something, it means, hey, my hand's on your ass, yours is probably on mine.